Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Alrighty now, folks, buckle up because your friendly neighborhood critic is about to spill some scalding hot tea that'll make your grandma's Earl Grey look like tap water. We're diving deep into the latest Meghan Markle drama, and trust me, it's juicier than a ripe peach on a summer day. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now, our favorite ex-royal, Meghan Markle, is out and about in sunny California, probably thinking she's flying under the radar. But honey, when you're Meghan Markle, you're about as inconspicuous as a neon sign in a library. And what does our girl have dangling from her designer purse? A key cane, but not just any keychain. oh no. This little leather number is screaming louder than a toddler in a candy store, and the message? Take what you need. Now, I don't know about you, but when I need something, I usually ask politely or, you know, work for it. But apparently, in Megan's world, it's more of a see it, want it, take it kind of vibe. It's like she's channeling her inner toddler, but instead of toys, she's grabbing at titles, spotlight, and apparently, the entire royal family's peace of mind. Let's break this down, shall we? This key cane, which costs more than my monthly coffee budget, and trust me, I drink a lot of coffee, has got royal experts clutching their pearls and reaching for the smelling salts. They're saying this is Megan's real mantra laid bare for all to see. And honestly, I'm starting to see their point. Think about it. First, she takes Prince Harry. Now, I'm not saying she snatched him up like the last cookie at a bake sale, but let's be real. She definitely rocked the royal boat harder than a game of battleship. Then, faster than you can say, Netflix deal. She's got her hands on royal inheritances, HR titles, and more spotlight than a Broadway show. It's like she's playing some twisted version of Royal Monopoly. Oh, you landed on my square? That'll be one priceless tiara and your firstborn's christening photos, please. Now, before you come at me with pitchforks, I'm not saying Megan's the big bad wolf of the royal story. But come on, you've got to admit, this whole take what you need thing is a bit on the nose, isn't it? It's like she's walking around with a sign that says, yes, I'm exactly who you think I am. Bold move, Megan. Bold move. But here's the kicker. This keychain isn't just about taking. Oh no, it's got these cute little matches inside with words like hugs, love, and patience, which if you ask me, is a bit like offering a band-aid to someone after you've run them over with a truck. Oh sorry, I took your whole family dynamic and turned it upside down. Here's a hug, and let's talk about the timing, shall we? She's spotted with this little truth bomb right before she's due to make an appearance at some fancy bookstore opening. It's like she's teasing us, dangling this juicy bit of insight right in front of our noses. It's the kind of move that makes you wonder, is she playing 4D chess while the rest of us are stuck on checkers? But here's the thing that really gets my goat. While Megan's out here taking what she needs, what about the rest of us? What about the people who look up to the royals who believe in the whole fairy tale. Are we just supposed to sit back and watch as she treats the monarchy like her personal all-you-can-grab buffet? And let's not forget about poor Harry and all this. Remember when he was just the cheeky ginger prince we all love? Now he's looking more lost than a tourist in Times Square. It's like watching a puppy trying to figure out why its favorite chew toy suddenly grew legs and walked away. But you know what? Part of me has to admire the sheer audacity of it all. 
I mean, to walk around with a keychain that basically confirms every whispered rumor and tabloid headline? That takes some serious chutzpah. It's like she's daring us to call her out, standing there with her straw hat and Ray-Ban aviators, practically screaming, Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do about it? And maybe that's the point. Maybe this is Megan's way of taking control of the narrative. After all, if you're going to be painted as the villain, why not lean into it? Go full Maleficent, horns and all. At least then you're the one calling the shots. But here's my question, at what cost? Sure, she's got the fame, the fortune, the prince. But at what point does taking what you need turn into losing everything that matters? Because let's be real, all the designer keychains in the world can't make up for genuine relationships and public goodwill. So where do we go from here? Is this the beginning of Meghan's villain era? Are we about to see her cackling on top of a pile of royal jewels while Harry juggles in the background? Or is this just another chapter in the never-ending saga of royal drama? One thing's for sure, I'll be watching and judging because that's what friendly neighborhood critics do best. We watch, we judge, and occasionally we spill tea all over the internet. So grab your popcorn, folks, because if this key cane debacle is anything to go by, we're in for one hell of a royal roller coaster. And remember, in the immortal words of Megan's keychain, take what you need. Just maybe leave a little for the rest of us, yeah? Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.